What's going on everybody? My name is Melvin Ward, the one and only. And this is Mel's News. Here at Mel's News, we talk about current events, world news, sports, anything that's happening local in your community. And today is Tuesday. Yep, Groundhog Day. Well, it's not officially Groundhog Day, but I feel like I talk about this every Tuesday. You guys know what it is, right? You guessed it. Yep, Taco Tuesday. And ironically, it's Cinco de Mayo. So happy single de Mayo to everybody out there and go ahead and get you some authentic Mexican food. Um, I don't know, there's not a lot of uh, uh, restaurants. Well, I mean, I think there's some restaurants open, but if you don't have that, then go to your local uh, taco truck. I know they're doing a whole bunch of things and drink some uh, tequila if you want or drink some, car I was gonna say the C word, but Nah. Well, you guys want the rapid fire news, right? Well, here we go. In current events, uh, California Governor Newsom has, uh, he has been in talks of reopening the state of California by this Friday, which is, I guess it's uh, phase two. Uh, there's a whole bunch of phases. Maybe this is kind of like, you know, like the whole Marvel uh, thing, you know, phase one, phase two. But uh, yes, he's, talking about reopening the state when it comes to retail stores and restaurants and stuff like that, but only just pick up. Uh, I actually like this whole thing. I mean, it, it, it you know, it, it gives us a little bit of freedom to, to do things because, you know, the other states are reopening up, but I feel like California, we are kind of strategically opening up. I don't know. I just, it just feels cool. It's like, nah, 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 nah. Everybody else is going to be open up sporadically, but like, we're going to do it one step at a time. So you know what, Governor Newsom? Thank you so much for, you know, putting in that work and I appreciate everything you're doing. In more news, 101 year old Angelina Friedman is, she has actually survived the COVID-19. She has survived coronavirus, which she also survived uh, the Spanish flu and also cancer. Yo, like that is extremely wild and crazy and man she's 101 years old like she has survived a whole bunch of just major stuff and i'm saying look if she can get through it i know we can for sure get through it 101 like my biggest goal in my life is to live to be 100 years old so i can tell myself you know what i live to be a century hundred years old that's my personal goal but I mean if God says hey no <laughs> you're gonna be going before that that's that's fine too but I mean that's just wishful thinking in world news Italy is starting to reopen up slowly but surely uh, the stores and the restaurants and everything are starting to reopen up you can start you can start to see uh, uh, cars and traffic and more people but they're still practicing social distancing uh, wearing the gloves and then the mask and everything um, a little side note, I was actually supposed to go to Italy just this past spring break until, you know, COVID-19 just hit. And, um, but no, seriously, it's good that Italy is starting to reopen up because I know that was like one of the biggest like hits like in history as far as like the whole coronavirus and everything. So I'm really happy to see that uh, Italy is up and running. And <laughs> I don't know, maybe, uh, Later on this year, I can go ahead and go to Italy. I'm still trying to go to Italy because of food and the people and just a completely brand new uh, scenery. Um, and did I mention the Italian ladies? Oh, you know, and of course, you know, it's shopping too, so. In sports, there's been a sighting of former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson training. Take a look. Yo, I used to be, a, well, I still am, like, afraid of Iron Mike Tyson. Like, look, when he was younger, it was deadly. I mean, his fists, I mean, you didn't want to really, you know, make Iron Mike Tyson mad. And he's 53 years old and he's still looking like that? Are you serious, man? Like, 
I, I just wouldn't want to be on his bad side. I mean, but I mean, he looks real good. I don't know who he's getting ready for, but maybe this coronavirus is, you know, say, you know what? I think I need to, uh, you know, I think I need to, you know, get my hands ready. Uh, or also maybe he's just seeing how, you know, the heavyweight division is, eh, and he might, you know, throw a little spark in there. But look, Mike Tyson, my brother, my man, I appreciate what you're doing. Just, you know, I appreciate you. Oh, you know what? Also, I mean, I guess I'm telling my age, but I remember playing Mike Tyson Punch Out when I was little on the Nintendo, the regular Nintendo. Um, and that game is still hard as hell. I just can't beat the damn game. I, I think I beat it like once or twice. Um, and that was it. But yeah, man, I mean, Mike Tyson training really hard. For who? I don't know. Welcome back to another segment of Mel's Advice, where I give my advice to anybody who's in need. And today comes from an anonymous center and it reads, hello Melvin, how are you doing? Uh, I don't really have like a major question, but just one question. Okay. Uh, since states are starting to open up, ironic, um, what's your biggest advice you can give to somebody? My biggest advice that I can give to somebody since the states are starting to reopen up uh, is first, be safe. Uh, still do your state's guidelines, uh, wherever you're at, wherever you're from. Uh, social distance, wear the gloves, wear the mask. And you know what? Carpe diem, seize the day. Just live it up like it's your last because you don't know when it's your last day on this earth. So yeah, just live every day in the moment just be in the moment and recognize what's around you like and hopefully during this time of quarantine uh being by yourself or being alone if you are um that you have been able to uh be grateful and recognize what you do have and and that you are able to focus on yourself um so that's my advice for today. Seize the day. Carpe diem. Meme of the day. Yep, this is part of my show where I look at a random meme and get my thoughts and opinions on it. You guys can send me any random meme you want via my Instagram or Twitter at Melvin S. Ward. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Melvin S. Ward and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is just Melvin Ward. Smash that like button and hit the notification bell if you guys want notifications of videos every day. Here we go. So this meme comes from Ms. Alex Smith and it reads, Zoom meeting, audio only, Zoom meeting, video. You know what? Uh, I can understand and I can agree with it, you know, because when you're just, you know, chilling in these Zoom meetings and it's just audio and you don't feel like dressing up and yeah you can look like whatever you want you can literally just roll out of the bed and still have your pajamas on breath stinking and everything and hair all matted and you know eye boogers in your eye and everything you know you don't care but as soon as you know the it's time to see everybody you gotta you know you gotta look your best so i get the meme i get it you know audio don't really care video you have got to care what you look like because I mean having it nobody's really seen you in like a long time so they want to make sure that you're looking your best but then some people honestly shoot, they just don't care like shoot audio or video like look this is what it is like I'm gonna put a hat on whatever you know what I mean like I'm not impressing anybody so but hey speaking of zoom meetings though have you guys ever you know uh, seen you know zoom meetings where it's just like that one person who doesn't really know how to you know, do the zoom, like, you know, you kind of see their face, but they're like super like close up on you, or there's a whole bunch of noise in the background, or they're arguing with somebody, or, you know, they thought that they muted you, but then they didn't mute, or, you know, they thought that they clicked over, but you can see them doing all kinds of like random stuff. <laughs> no, that was just me. No, I, I, I'm the only one who's seen that. No, y'all, y'all seen that. Oh, wait, y'all haven't? I guess it's just me, huh? 
And that's it today for Mel's News. I'm Mel Moore, the one and only. Y'all be good. Go on, be great. And God bless. <laughs>